Okay, guys, and we're back. Finally, we're back to Pokemon Yellow. Now, what did we do in the last episode? Because I surely did not remember. Um, all right, let's look at our members. Uh, Pikachu. Right. Oh, my Facebook is on. On. All right, let me just turn it off real quick. Okay, Jose. Yeah, I'm calling you out. It was your fault. So blame him. All right. Um, so what did we do last episode? We got here to, on the road to Route 6, 5, whatever you call it. And, yeah. So guys, I'm pretty sure you guys might have seen already my video of why I wasn't uploading. But for your, those of you who don't follow that video, here you go. Um, well, for starters, my computer broke down. Well, it didn't break down. It was more of a registry problem. I, I installed my um, PS1 emulator, and for some strange, majestic, crazy, infernous reason, it broke down. So it was such a fail, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> Ugh, with the interruptions." Okay, so what was I even talking about? Um, so yeah, my computer broke down. Um, I installed the PS1 registry file, and well, something messed it up there, you know. Um. I was trying to actually get uh, the Resident Evil Jill scenario going. Um, I wanted, to, uh, you know, I wanted the cutscenes. I wanted the challenge hard mode. So you know, I wanted to make that more fun. And I guess it didn't work out for now. So that's gonna get stalled a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, it took me the whole week to fix. I had to delete all my files. And, well, it wasn't pretty. Thankfully, I got to save all my videos. And everything is back to normal now. Regular updates. And I hope you guys enjoy. Basically, right? Thought about that. Alright, so. Wahaha. Great. I was bored, eh? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, how are you guys? You know, I hope you didn't miss me too much. For those of you guys that watch me. But, um, yeah, now we're gonna continue with this. We're gonna go all the way through and finish it, like I said. And I'm not gonna stop recording just because I have 10 views, etc. Screw that. Um, alright, so let's kill this job. So, actually, I, went, I had a topic for you guys a long time ago. Well, we kind of altered a little. Because, you know, um,. The events happened already, I guess you could say. <laughs> so, I want to talk to you guys about soccer. Or, we call it football. Um, now, if you live in America, you call it soccer. Um, in other countries, you call it football. Well, not, not only America calls it soccer. Um, Australia calls it soccer. Um, who else calls it soccer? This is a lot of countries that call it soccer, you know? It's kind of it's kind of dumb when they say uh, the US only calls it soccer, because it's incorrect. Alright, so we got the book catcher. Um So for those of you guys that don't follow, right now, the World Cup qualifiers is going on. Qualifiers. And what you do in these is play against every team, home and away matches. Oh, level 30, nice. Alright, so... And, well, basically, you're fighting for a spot to get to the World Cup, right? You just don't go. It's like, um, for those, for those of you guys that watch baseball, it's the same thing, in a way. Um, and football for the Super Bowl, you have to qualify for the final, right? Something like that. Alright, so for South America, there's four spots, direct qualification, and the fifth spot, fifth spot goes to Asia playoffs. 
Now there's nine teams, and it's not including Brazil because Brazil is the host, and well, the host has to be there because you know, when you go to someone's house, the host has to be there. <laughs> no, um, but yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Um, so yeah. So I want to talk about each match that happened. Now, I had it planned out, but I don't remember exactly everything that happened this week and last week. But I'll talk about every team. Uh, South and North America. The Americas. Uh, Europe? I'll talk about a little bit about European soccer. Um, so let's start about... Let's start with um Argentina, you know. First place team. Not really much to say. Um They're doing pretty good. They have a lot of talent going forward. Uh Messi, Aguero, Tebes, you know, those are just a few of many. They have a lot of talent. And well it's crazy. Uh they just went to they just actually tied with Bolivia and La Paz. But you know, some of you know might not know this, but La Paz is pretty hard to play in. The altitude um, makes the oxygen more dense, and it makes it harder to breathe. So there's that. And yes, guys, we're gonna do this cave like this because I'm too lazy to get flash. All right. Um. Next in the next in the list is Ecuador, my country. <laughs> now Echoes was actually doing pretty good for what I thought. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, that's not a good move. Um, right. So Ecuador, Ecuador, Ecuador. Ugh. You know, I, I, they're just going through a phase of success, I would say. Their train, uh, their manager, etc., etc. Is having great success with the team and great chemistry. Chemistry. Uh, there really is. I, I, like, it's my country, one of my countries, but it, I don't really have much to say about them, you know. Um, let's see. Who's next? Colombia. Colombia. Oof. Colombia's a good team. Um, Falcao, Caicedo. I mean, that's a Ecuador team. Uh, that's an Ecuadorian player. But you get my point. Falcao is the main man, and he's a beast. Plain and simple. <laughs> uh, they lost to Venezuela, but that's not a big, that's just a, they just fell on that. Um, that doesn't really mean much. Uh, Colombia's third period, you know, they're fighting with the spots with Ecuador, Argentina, etc. Now, I think the next team on the list is, let me see. Uh, bleh. It's either Chile or Venezuela. Now, these two teams are having mixed results. Um, Chile have probably the main man, which is Alexis Sanchez. He plays for FC Barcelona, um, arguably the best team in the world. Anyways. Uh, Chile just got a win off um, Uruguay, who I'm probably going to speak of next. Oof, I have a lot to say about Uruguay. And, well, you know, Chile, I think, might qualify, actually. But I, I would actually, like, if you guys are Chileans, <laughs> one of you guys, I would actually love to see Venezuela qualify. Why? Because they've never been to the World Cup, you know? I want to see what damage they could do. Venezuela plays with heart. I mean, they're arguably the weakest team in the South America area. But still, you know, I mean, they beat Colombia last week. That's something to say, you know. But yeah, um, Venezuela, you know, again, beat Colombia. They're, pre they're doing pretty good. Uh, you know. <laughs> you know. And we got a slow poke. Ooh, slow poke. Okay. Um, so next out, <laughs> Uruguay, okay, now Uruguay is no joke of a team, Uruguay have some amazing players, now Luis Suarez and Cavani, 
it's hard to argue which one is the talisman of your wine. But to me, it's Suarez. And I know Suarez isn't the most loved player. <laughs> oh my god, he's so hated. He's called racist. He's called like a crybaby. He's called this. He's called that. Um, it's so dumb though. Cause when you play for your national team, you know, you're playing with everything. You want to win, you know? It's like when you're playing for a soccer team, a basketball team, a baseball team. You want to win, right? But imagine you're playing for your national team, you know? It's something different. And not many know what that feels like. So, you know, it's hard to argue against what he does sometimes. To be honest, I would probably do the same thing. Regardless. <laughs> He's hated mostly because of um, the World Cup in 2010, South Africa, where he had a handball, and they called him a cheater. But he would he didn't really cheat because, I mean, the ref caught him, and he expelled him, you know. He didn't play the next match, and, you know, period. But, you know, people, whatever. Because it was Ghana, he cheated. I mean... The best team won, you know, and that was your why. Anyways, um, who's next? Peru. Now, this is one of my other countries. Now, Peru, again, they have mixed results. They also have talent, I would say. Not not because I'm Peruvian. They have, um, I guess they call him the kind of the Fantastic Four for Peru, um, which is Farfan, Pizarro. Um, Guerrero, and who was the other one? Uh, I forgot the other one. <laughs> Anyways, you know, whatever. Oh, um, Vargas. Oh no, these these four players are probably their best, their best players. But they haven't been producing as much as they do in club level, like Pizarro today. He just scored four goals and two assists. Bayern Munich won 9-1, I mean 9-2 to Hamburg from Germany. Uh, a German league which shouldn't be, which shouldn't have that big of a gap. I mean this is like what, the first team versus the ninth place team? So it's kind of ridiculous how you, when you see it, when you talk about that. Anyways, Peru, you know, they have a chance. The points aren't very... There isn't a gap between the fourth team and the last team. Well, actually there is for the last team. Um, the top three are doing magnific magnificently well. So I... I don't, I don't see them dropping below third, <laughs> Colombia, Ecuador, Argentina. Um, let's see. After Peru is Bolivia and Venezuela. Now I'm gonna mix these two because, well, Bene okay, Bolivia. You know I've seen them play. They're just lacking that talisman that brings brings results. You know, like. Argentina has Messi, um, Ecuador has um, Benitez, um, Colombia has Falcao. These are the man, the mans that make games, make games or break games. You know they have that influence on that on the team. So Bolivia is a bit of in a crisis. I heard. But, you know, it's nothing they can't recover. I mean, they might not qualify to the World Cup now. Regardless, they still should be, you know, playing hard. Because, you know, it's a World Cup. And it's your team. Again, <laughs> you don't want to make your team look bad. Alright. Um, and... Harawai, the last team. Unfortunately, they're not... They haven't, they're not reaching their their expectation like they did last year's World Cup, last times. 
last time they tied against Italy and in the World Cup this is Italy they beat mm, Slovakia I think and tied against New Zealand so you know for a team that should be winning things are last so it's pretty disappointing at least to see them um but yeah you know it's the South American qualifiers Argentina I think has 24 points Ecuador has 20 Colombia has 19 and I think Chile has 13 don't quote me on that it's a bit hard to remember no it's like what what time is it <laughs> 142 uh, kind of tired actually but yeah you know that's the South American qualifiers um pretty interesting you know uh Brazil's probably gonna have a good challenge oh well, representation for uh CONCACAF which is the name of the region now we're gonna go on to South America I mean I just said South America North America and the Caribbean and Central America that's one region which is um CONCACAF South America is Comebol that sounds so wrong <laughs> alright I'll probably write it down somewhere or something. You guys try to say that. Now, CONCACAF. <laughs> I'm like sitting with an Hispanic accent. Um, it consists of a six-team uh, table. The first three qualify directly, and the fourth one plays against New Zealand, which is which they won. So it's already determined who's who are they gonna play. Um. So it's a bit interesting this time around. If you look at the table, you see a three point gap between the first and the last team. So it's pretty tight. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, it's a pretty tight table. There's a lot of surprises so far, you know. Um, I'm gonna say off the bat, I actually support the United States. Yeah, you know, they suck, whatever. Um, yeah, I support them because you know they play with hearts. Why? Wh who wouldn't you want to play with? Um, support with that plays with their heart, even though they're not the best. Um, but yeah, you know they're not doing too bad either. So, I'm gonna say uh, the table right away. Um, Panama, Costa Rica, the U.S., uh, Honduras, and. Mexico and last is Jamaica now the points are 5 4 3 3 3 2 I believe oh no uh, Honduras has 4 right and the US the USA has 4 alright so Panama you know uh, they're pretty shockingly leading the table um, I haven't seen their matches, but I'm pretty sure they're, pl they're playing pretty well. Um, I'm getting tired of these annoying encounters. Well, I'm pretty sure I have repels. Repels. Um, repels, repels, not repels. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, here they are. Oh my god. Kill me now. Um, but yeah. Panama and Costa Rica. Costa Rica has like, some good talent. I'm, I'll admit it right now. Costa Rica tied with Spain one to one when they last played. Spain is the best team right now. Um, and the U.S. Um, the U.S. I know a lot about. <laughs> Obviously, I follow them. Yeah, you know, they're not the best in the world. The U.S. They're going in a transition period right now. They're getting old players out, new players in, younger players. Uh, we're getting our, our best player back, which is Landon Donovan, who, who I'm pretty sure many of you know. And, you know, they're trying to build an actual team that has consistency in attacking and defending. Now, their results was one zip against Costa Rica. In Denver, Colorado, and nil-nil against Mexico in a seca. 
Mexico City. Now these are great results if you might ask yourself. <laughs> if you would have seen the condition in Denver, Colorado, it was snow, snow galore, <laughs> 6 inches of snow. Yeah, try playing soccer in that. <laughs> That's all I'm like, gonna say for that. And a second, you know, they held off their rival Mexico. Now Mexico has a pretty good team. I don't know, like, they're underperforming what they're supposed to be doing. As a rival, I respect them, you know. Um, they have Hernandez, they have Gio Dos Santos, they have Guardado. And, you know, it's kind of disappointing that they're not doing that good just yet. You know, they have tough road matches. They have against Panama in Panama City. They have against Costa Rica in Aseca and Jamaica in, in um, Kingston. So it's pretty, it's pretty hard for them to like have that mentality when they have tough matches going going on right now, you know? Um, let me use this potion because my primate is gonna die. My primate. Let me switch Pikachu first. But, um... I don't remember. Just trying to think. I'm, I'm falling asleep just thinking. <laughs> but yeah, there's Mexico. There's the US. And Honduras, I guess. Honduras is doing pretty well. Um, They started first. By beating the US 2-1 uh, in San, pa San Paulo. Or San Pedro. And they tied against Mexico in... The, in these were home matches for them, so you know they they got good results against the two top of the of the region, which was very good results. And well, you know they lost to Panama recently, so they they went down pretty drastically on the table. Um, why did I use slam? I should have just used thunderbolt. Okay. So that's soccer here in um. I think it's the West Hemisphere. How do you not kill him? What? What? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was on purpose, by the way. <laughs> um. Now let's talk a little bit about Europe. You know, Europe football is pretty powerful. <laughs> it's a beast of its own. Um. Let's talk about the best team, I guess. Spain. Spain actually just barely made it. Or, or is barely making it. Shockingly, they're not doing as hot as everyone expected. I mean, there's, they got their results for against, against France. But it was pretty close by an inch. Alright, now, wait guys. Before I continue on, read this. Okay. I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. Oh. It's after this you should read it. Alright. Uh let's see. Junior trainer Pidgey. Pidgey! Alright, so Spain has probably the best team. They have the best young players. And get don't get me wrong, I'm not even Spanish. I'm Hispa Hispanic, but not Spanish. Not the same. People confuse that. <laughs> Pichola. Um. But yeah. Spain, you know, they're gonna be in the World Cup. No doubt about it. Now France. France, I was seeing them play against Spain. And they were actually dominating Spain. Uh, okay. Read this. The Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be a pink one with... Floral pattern. Now, for the, for those of you guys that actually know the other Pokemon in other generations, I think this this Pokemon represents um Lunar. I think was it called? Yeah, check that out. Um, it's a Pokemon that's pink, puffy, pink uh flower flower designs on its body. But yeah, you know, um, ah, oh, cute ones. Pika! Okay. Um, England, you know, 
England have been pretty disappointing. And I think every English people, every English fan could say that. I mean, I'm talking about results here, you know. Maybe they did play well. I mean, I, I, I'll compare them to like Mexico, like the Mexican uh, fans aren't really happy about what their results have been as of lately. I mean, they even got booed off the stage. Um, England. England has so much talent, it's not even funny. England has... I'm not gonna say the best league, because it's not the best league anymore. The, uh, the Black... Black Clays? Okay. The Premier League is not the best league anymore, period. Whoever says it is, isn't watching soccer properly. You have the likes of Germany, Spain, and um, not France. Germany and Spain have way much tough, tougher leagues. I mean, uh, Italy, Italy also. Top four leagues, I would say. Now, the top league, I would say, would be Spain, period. Why? Because Spain has... Spain's teams have beaten the English Premier League teams a bit more times as of recently than, than you know, than more not. Now, I know you guys are going to get angry a little bit, but, you know, it's an opinion. And, you know, it's... You can think whatever you want that. Oh my god, this song. So many theories against this song. Ah. Oh, guys, read this, read this, read this. Do you believe in ghosts? Really? So they're believers. Oh, no, they took it out. Fudge. Um, in, in the older versions, he would say there's a white hand. So there's a lot of theories of... No, 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 I'm not doing that yet. So there's a lot of theories that this game had um, different changes, you know, there was a white hand boss or Pokemon and a ghost that eat you, eats you, whatever, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Uh, I'm not gonna train Pikachu in, on screen. Alright, um, England is actually second place, which means they have to go to a playoff if they finish there. Now, thankfully for them, they have four matches left in the European um, qualifiers, so they have a chance. They probably got off the strongest team or um, threat to their points, which is Montenegro. I don't know much about them, so don't ask me about that. Now... Portugal, which is pretty shockingly sec- I think third or second. So if they miss the World Cup, it'll be an upset. Because you have the second best player in the world, which is Ronaldo. Okay, first, second, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you see as first best player in the world, whatever. Um, so if Ronaldo's not in the best team, I mean in the World Cup, what does that tell you about him? You know, Portugal are not having the best team, best time in um, the qualifiers. So it's pretty shocking, 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 shocking. Yeah. Whew. So there's some of the European team. You know, Italy, France. I mean, Italy's doing well. Who else? Um, Germany. Oof. I mean, don't even get started with Germany. Germany is destroying teams left and right. Scary. But yeah, you know, we have we're looking at some interesting teams for the World Cup. Now, for my favorite to win, um, the favorites are Spain, Germany. You know, I would even throw in Colombia. But after their loss with Venezuela, I'm having a little bit of doubts. I really don't think Brazil's gonna win. Brazil's really, I mean, maybe it'll change in a year, but Brazil is not playing good. I mean, ah, it's just so hard to say that when they have so much talent. 
they probably change and I'm probably gonna be wrong. I hope, right? We don't wanna see a European team win the World Cup again. I mean, sorry, Europe. But this time is our World Cup. It's gonna come back to South America. Anyways, that's soccer, you know, football. Very exciting stuff. If you guys don't like it, you know, I would suggest you to give it a try because it's actually pretty exciting. Anyways, back to the game, finally. Okay. Now, you guys may be wondering, when am I gonna get, like, chisel? Chisel, chisel, chisel. When the heck are you gonna get your next team members? And I'm like, ah, so you want that? And you're like, what? That? Well, what's that? You know? Oh, the next team. Oh, fudge tickle. Um, I'm looking at, I'm looking it up right now, and I'm probably gonna get the next member. I'll give you a good estimate. Let's see. Um, hmm. Alright, I already have it. I would give you an estimate of less than 5 episodes. I'm not gonna tell you exactly when I'm gonna get it. You guys are gonna have to see, you know? Yes, I'm a bitch for that. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, uh, kill that maybe. And... Alright, alright. Oh god, I'm falling asleep here. Why am I trying to do a commentary when I'm dying? Uh, alright, Pikachu's destroying. So, you know, guys, um, again, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to upload, you know. Pretty tough around these times. You know, especially I've heard that there was actually an upload issue with YouTube. So, you know, maybe maybe I didn't miss much. I wasn't going to upload a lot, maybe. Now, I'm starting to do 1080p, but I'm looking at this game, and there really isn't a reason to do 1080p for um, Pokemon. So I'm probably not going to do it for this. I am going to do it, though, for Resident Evil. I was looking at the rendering, and it has a pretty drastic change. If you look at it closely. Closely. Alright, so where are we heading? By the way guys, I'm probably gonna upload the last episode tomorrow for Resident Evil, so watch that, catch that. Interesting stuff. Um, I'm getting that fixed for chill scenario. And alright. No more talking about Resident Evil, because it's not this, it's Pokemon Go. Pokemon Yellow. Alright, uh, so if you try to go in here, you see this guard, and he says, I'm on guard duty, gee, I'm thirsty. Though, though, oh wait, there, the road's close. He's the little bitch. Now there's grass over there, interesting Pokemon, I think. I think there's one new Pokemon. And welcome to Celadon City, you know? The big city of lights and rockets. Now, we made it to Celadon City. Well, actually, we did a lot this episode. You have to admit. Uh, we made it to Celadon City. Actually, we made it to Lavender. We got out of um, the cave. We made it off to Lavender Town. And now we're in Celadon City in one episode. Um, in the next episode, we're probably going to explore Celadon City. And see what happens. Um, you saw we're going to probably fight Gary. And explore that tower because you know there's probably some interesting things there. This has probably been Chisel Chill. Not, what the heck did I just say? Ah, this is Chisel Chill. I'm tired, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, expect more videos regularly now. Uh, my computer is fixed. Um, well, this has been Chisel Chill. Trying to sign off for the third time. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like. And I'll see you later.
Peace. Take care. Bye-bye.